Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. Now, as you can see, I laid out the uh, fresh cut and uh, the black bear hide. Now, in the last episode, uh, when, we're, when we got the bear, we were walking over here uh, and we actually lost a lot of our clothing. <laughs> Uh, so we need to need to get some of that, and also another thing that we um, have to do is get our um, our meat situation taken care of, um, and we also have to go get more. So we dropped a ton of this stuff. Um, yeah, we'll just leave that out here. So we dropped an absolute crap ton of meat, and uh, there's also a moose right there, right there. So. It's going to be kind of interesting because he has been aggressive uh, toward us. Uh, not only has he tried to attack us twice, but he's kind of in the way to where the bear is. Uh, the rest of the bear meat is. <laughs> uh, so I'm not quite sure if we're actually going to go get it. I mean, what he needs is it is only uh, 10 pounds worth. I mean, 10 pounds is a lot of meat. Get, don't get me wrong. Uh, but before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we need to get more uh, more meat or more ammo because uh, we're kind of <laughs> due to the moose and the bear and all that. We are kind of running out. So this, you know, it kind of uh, leads to the question of what do we want to do now? Um, X. Like, I would love to go out and try to figure out, you know, uh, drop it. Did. did I drop the right one? Yeah. Uh, you know, it kind of leads us to see, you know, do we want to head out and try to get the bear? Do we want to go and, you know, get better clothing? Try to go get some wolves? I mean, I, I'm not sure what to do. But, anyway... As it uh, goes on ourselves, we need to go over to the the dam, which is literally right there. So, I mean, it's not too terribly far. And uh, we need to watch out for this moose. Just, you know, just to make sure that he's not going to come eat us or kill us or anything. I thought I heard him, but we did shoot him, I believe, twice. But, I mean, I know he don't bleed out, so... Because of that, we, uh, you know, we're just going to have to watch out for him and uh, make sure that he don't want to uh, try to kill us any, any more than what he already has. <laughs> so here, we'll check this out right quick. Nothing in here. So, like I said, uh, we really need to find, like, pants and we, you know, need to find some clothing. So, I mean, the best thing that uh, I know what to do is to go in here and excuse you. Anyway come in here and try to uh, find all the stuff. Now, there normally is a deer around here, and I'm thinking, uh, instead of killing more deer, I mean, we need to preserve them anyway. We can. That's going to take 30 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. Let's take it, and, uh, maybe. That's uh, going down fast. Okay. How is everything? Okay, so... You know, we're getting frostbite and everything, but we're, you know, it was really worth it. So if we can get, uh, I believe, two more of those, uh, then we can get the pants. But we also need two more for the boots. So we're going to need five or, well, four more now. But uh, if we can actually get that, that will be great. And it has to be, you know, relatively soon because I don't want them to go bad. So... <laughs> it's going to get a little bit interesting. Um, yeah, so basically that's uh, what we're what we're up to. Um, you know, we're just uh, trying to get back in order here. Trying to basically re-heal ourselves from the bear. <laughs> the bear uh, tried to, you know, eat us twice. And <sighs> Stupid bear, man. I should have known better than to just try to go up there and say, oh, hey, I'm bigger and badder than you. Stupid move. But at least we got him, so let's put them on. I mean, at least we're finding some clothes. That's literally all that matters at this point. Clothing, 
and then we have, um, you know, we got food, and basically anything, nah, I don't need more coffee, I already have enough, but also, we need to find, um, uh, a revolver. I mean, it's, uh, quite a bit of stuff to carry, I mean, it is also heavy as well, but, because if we have it, then all we have to do is pop a shot, you know, a shot or two off, and then basically the wolves run away. I mean, so that's going to help out tremendously. And we're also looking out for a, uh... Could end up being useful. Sure. I already have one, but sure. Um, we're also looking out for, uh, another rope. So, anything in here doesn't look like it. I never could find anything in the, on the stairs and whatnot, but I mean, let's run down here anyway. I mean, there's wood. So... Can't go through the door. I think I uh, looked through all this stuff off camera last time, so I might as well just take you all with me. Uh, anything in the trash can? Probably not. Eh, figured. Anything in here? No. We also could go to the mountain town. I haven't went to the mountain town. I do not believe. I mean, I don't really know that place either, but if I had to guess, uh, the new map that should be coming out basically any time now uh, with Winter Mute 4. You know, they, they keep saying this preserver Preservance Mills. Um, you know, so I mean, I'm thinking it has to be up like if you look at the map it should be between Timberwolf Mountain and uh, Mountain Town, if I had to guess. Because that's about the only other place it, they could put it and then have multiple areas to get into it because they said it was over the mountains so I don't know let me know in the comments below let me know uh, where you think it'll, it'll be because that's where I think it, it has to be you know but you never know so let me know this stuff warm toque might as well pick it up anyway medical we always need medical Septic. we don't have any painkillers you know for some reason painkillers is a hard thing to come by in this game <laughs> or at least for oh that hey look oh yeah you speak and you shall receive charcoal might as well pick it up uh yeah so there's a lot of drawers here most of them don't have anything in them but i mean if it keeps your hopes up and and morale up then might as well look through all of them I mean, this uh, this is a very big, big place because not only do you have this, you have the uh, bottom one that you can go and get out of here to Pleasant Valley. So I mean, can we go through here? No. That'd be really cool if you could, like during the Aurora. But could you imagine if it didn't work and the Aurora shut off, or if it did work and the Aurora shut off? I mean, you'd be stuck there. Rifle? Dang it. Dang it! We need a, uh, Ooh, ooh sweatshirt. Mm, no. No. Uh -huh. We'll keep it on us anyway, just to, just in case. Some books, not really worried about the books. Do the children love the books? That's off the elf. I just didn't know. Someone can't. Use this. Might as well use it. We left our... Okay, it was at that one cabin, yeah. I mean, I gotta gotta remember all this stuff. Now, I'm still at home. I haven't left for the truck yet. But, let me tell you what. When I leave to go on the truck, it's going to be very hard for me to freaking remember uh, how to get back. <laughs> so, oh boy. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> didn't get the greatest news uh, just now. But, uh, you know, I'm not... I mean, I guess I ain't kind of worried about it, but the show must go on, so we will just continue moving on. <sighs> boy, boy, boy. You know, uh, one of the hardest things, um, like, one of the hardest decisions, decisions, whatever, um, what, for, for me going back on the road was literally, uh, my grandpa, uh, he is, uh, 81 years old, you know, so, I mean, he's, uh, he's up there. But, uh, boy, 
he, he's kind of like the staple that holds everybody together. I mean, he's he's that kind of guy. He's that uh, figure. But anyway, uh, he's in the hospital, and uh, you know, um, I guess he's getting emitted. So, yeah, that's not great. But anyway, so that's what the phone call was about. So let's just keep moving on and. And as soon as I'm done with this, I'm getting the hell out of here and getting out. But, uh, so this might be a shorter episode. <laughs> ah, boy. Oh, hey, boots. I forgot all about the damn boots. Put them boots on. They're not the greatest in the world, but they will actually... Oh, what does it have? Old-fashioned parka? Really? Uh, it's better than the other one. Oh, well. Oh boy. Anyway, but uh, yeah, I mean, they're, like I probably said before in an earlier episode, it, it was a big struggle uh, whether or not I wanted to go back out on the road or not. Because it's not just, you know, you don't have to worry about driving the truck. I mean, if you know how to drive, then you're fine. But what you got to worry about is everybody else on the road. Everybody, you know, that doesn't know how to drive. Everybody that... Uh, drives like a maniac, getting cut off, uh, you know, I mean, that's just one part. Then the other part you have to worry about is, uh, you know, um, deadlines. Uh, you have a lot of, uh, a lot of deadlines you gotta meet. Like, if you gotta be, so say, here in Oregon, uh, Salem is where we're dispatched out of. Um, if you gotta get to Alabama and you got five days to get there, and you got to be there at noon. That's 9 o'clock my time. And we're dispatched at uh, Pacific Standard say. Time. So, you know, we got to we gotta be there three hours earlier than what, you know. It's kind of hard to understand. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. Um, but anyway, you like, uh, you got to, you know, you have that due date. You have, uh, you know, other due dates you got to be following you have just a bunch of stuff that you have to you know think about and everything else and I mean it's a lot of stress basically but I mean hey you get paid for it so you kind of sign on for it but but really the big one was it was uh, my gramps you know he uh, if he goes it's gonna be real hard especially for my my, my fiance and uh, you know she's not even related or nothing, but she's been with him for three years, and he, he's the first one that uh, basically took her in, so I mean, he uh, means a lot to her, I mean, along with everybody else, but not much you can do, you know, when it's your time, it's your time. But on a brighter note, let's try to figure this one out so we can keep them moving on. Dun, dun, dun. Come on. And this is why I normally skip it, because it takes forever. Now, you could go faster, but I forgot the first number. So, <laughs> we're just going to go slow the whole way. And... Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oop, right there it is. I honestly can't remember the code, so. Rifle cartridge. Revolver. I don't need revolver. I need rifle. Uh, can I open this up? Normally in the other ones you can. Line. Okay. Well, because of the uh, information I just got, you know, I, uh, I think this is where I'm going to end it here. You know, I really do apologize for it being so short. But, uh, like, I literally just got the phone call. And because I'm leaving so soon, and, like, um, today's Tuesday, and I'm leaving on Monday. I mean, so, it, I mean, I have, like, six days. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys understand that uh, why this video is so short. Um, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.